Hey guys, it's Jahamis1, and I'll be showing you the Paladin's armor. So yeah, this is Paladin Leroy's armor, and this video is going to be very long, it's going to be 23 minutes long. Um, the reason that it's so long is because I actually kind of show you how to get the this armor, the weapon, and the shield, the whole set in the video so I just kind of integrated uh, like a guide for the armor and how to obtain it within this video here I just thought may as well why not so here I am showing you the stats um, it's pretty good armor for the stats although there is better I believe um, on the character that I'll be doing most of this gameplay on it's my level 160 character, which was previously a level 159 in my previous equipment showcase video. And now right here I show you this move, these moves, or the move set on my strength character. And the reason that I did this because um, my other character cannot wield this weapon, the Grant, um, one-handed. It's because he doesn't have enough strength. He barely re meets the requirement. Well, actually, he has one extra strength of meeting the requirement to wield it two-handed. So yes, that is why I'm using this on uh, my strength character right here. Is just to show you the one-handed move sets. Uh, yeah, you'll notice on the lower left it does say that I can't equip it, even though it looks like I can equip it and use the its attacks perfectly normal. But really, if I attack an enemy with it on this character, uh, my attacks will be deflected even if the enemy does not block it at all. It kind of looks funny but I guess that's their way of balancing things out. So now here I show you that you can summon Leroy Jenkins or Paladin Leroy um, here in the catacombs. And by the way I believe Leroy, Paladin Leroy and Dark Souls here is a reference to Leroy Jenkins who I did not do any research on but I believe he is some kind of like made up character that some World of Warcraft character made before and yeah you, it's really kinda pointless to summon this guy here I mean this is like the easiest boss in the game I think everyone knows that now but you know I, I just did it to show you guys oh and by the way this character that I'm on um, it's a different character that's not on my regular PlayStation Network account uh, I. I like, uh, went on my other PlayStation Network account, deleted my Dark Souls patch so that I could create a new character and do that one soul glitch. Although I do know that there is another glitch where you can like copy and paste all your items from one character to another character that is in the latest patch as of today. So yeah, here I am. I'm just kind of waiting around for Paladin Leroy. And in this fight here, in this boss fight, we'll see like what miracles the Leroy uses. So of all my times that I've uh, fought this boss, I think most of the time I've gotten the Mask of the Child, but I really do think it is randomized for about 33% chance for each mask. As there are three different masks, which grant you three different bonuses. The Father's Mask, I think it gives you like, um, it gives you higher equip burden. I think it increases it by 20%, I want to say. I'm not sure of that though. Uh, the Mother's Mask give you, gives you better HP, or a higher maximum HP. And in this boss fight, by the way, I will just be like, kind of messing with the boss. I just kind of punch it with my pyromancy glove. I don't think I ever do any serious damage to it. And the Mask of the Child gives you um, greater stamina regeneration. That's right. I think most of the time I use Mask of the Child. Otherwise, I'll be using Mask of the Mother. So Paladin Leroy, I actually do let him do most of the damage on the boss in this video. As I said, I'm only punching with my pyromancy glove so right there you see Leroy use what I believe is great heal and later on or maybe in this video we will see uh, more miracles that this person uses this NPC I should say alright so yeah I'm just punching them 
Pinwheel is nearly dead. Once again, you know, everyone knows this, it's the easiest boss in the game. So I've been really busy lately, so why I've just I haven't had that much time to make videos. And on top of that, uh, I just got into playing Terraria. Now, in the past, I've played lots of Minecraft, but I played that for, I don't know, at least three months, I think longer. And, well, eventually I kind of got bored of it. But now I've gotten into Terraria, and I really like the game. I like how the game looks, like, artistically, and I like that it's more of a fantasy game, whereas Minecraft is, like, very realistic, and it's kind of like a simulator in some ways. So, yeah, now here I am in Tomb of the Giants, and <clears throat> Leroy has just invaded me. But yes, you can summon Leroy both as a white phantom, and he can invade you. Yeah, I just kind of throw my pyromancy glove at the ground there. Oh, and by the way, this character, he's kind of my pyromaniac um, endurance build. I think he has 40 endurance, and once again, there's great heal. Yeah, 40 endurance, I think at least 20 vitality. There's Wrath of the Gods. And I think 20, or actually 19 attunement. And by the way, I really mess around with this uh, NPC here. I mean, I don't take the fight seriously at all. Just want to show you this moveset. And the other stats on this character <coughs> are, well, yeah, that's about it. Just 40 endurance. Nothing really special about this character. Oh, and keep in mind that all this, um, well, these two clips of the boss fight and me fighting this invader, uh, they are in patch 1.0, or, yeah, they're in patch 1.0, the patch of when the game first came out. You get another repost attack on them. So, in patch 1.0, Pyromancy was w even more powerful. So that's why I use it so much. Yep, I finish him off easy. Take a bow, and I pick up his items. Let's see, so I get the Grant, some humanity, and his shield. And later on, after you defeat the boss, that's when you are given the opportunity um, to pick up his armor. Of course, you have to either go to the bonfire, rest, and then go pick it up, or you could go quit the game. But I'll show you that after I beat the boss. And I will be showing you this uh, boss fight as well. So yeah, it's two boss fights, one equipment showcase video. And now here I am at the entrance to the boss, Gravelord Nito. So this boss is pretty easy. As long as you stay away from the giant skeletons, either just stay away from them or use divine weapons. Actually, I don't think you need to use divine weapons on the giant skeletons. I'm pretty sure you can kill the giant ones with a normal weapon, and they'll stay dead. It's the smaller ones that you have to kill them with a divine weapon in order for them to uh, stay dead forever. And when I say divine weapon, I mean a weapon that deals holy damage or unholy damage, or a damage bonus, whatever it is called. So yeah, here's the cutscene pretty creative boss here, you know. It's like a mass of souls built down of skeletons. Sword looks pretty cool, you know. So, here I am. Of course, I'm wearing ha Havel's armor here. <clears throat> so I just kill him with Pyromancy because, you know, like I said, Pyromancy is rather overpowered in the 1.0 patch. So I was mentioning Terraria earlier. Yeah, uh, I've played Minecraft before. I kind of got bored of it, like I said. But I've gotten into Terraria now. I was playing it with a friend. I started out playing some free version. Well, it wasn't really free, but yeah, you know, it's one of those versions. So I just bought the game. I decided it was worth it. It was really fun, I thought. And, well, I, I'm thinking I'll probably do some commentaries on that. May just surprise you guys, randomly upload a video of me doing that. Uh, I'll probably just do some kind of let's play thing. 
type video, you know, with live commentary, and I might just do um, dual commentary, depending if some my friends at my house or not. But we'll see about that. So yeah, I switch out to my silver serpent ring, and I get a bonus of twenty thousand souls. Twenty thousand extra souls. So right here, I go run over, and this is immediately after the boss. By the way, I just hit stop recording, and then I realized I should continue recording. So that's why there is that pause there or like interruption so here I rest at the bonfire I go back and it is not there so yeah in case that happens just quit the game or you could just quit the game in the first place and save you the trouble of going to the bonfire first but that's not really a big of a deal so yeah I am playing the offline mode just because you know I'm playing on patch 1.0 I can't update it. Well, I don't want to. I mean, not at this point. Because if I were to update it, then that would ruin my character save. So yeah, you reload up the game. The armor is there. Pick it up. So the Sleever Jenkins character. Um, I don't know if I saw the original video, but it it's this video of this party getting ready to do this raid in World of Warcraft. And the vital character, the paladin, he just yells, Leroy Jenkins. Then he like runs in and he just takes out no one and he ends up getting killed. And then they fail the raid. And then like a bunch of people from his party get all mad at him and yeah, I'm not sure. I think it may be a viral video. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, so that's all about Leroy Jenkins that I know of for my knowledge, but like I said, I didn't do any research. So the Grant, which is the large hammer that the Paladin uses, it is a pretty, well it does decent damage, I think it does 730-ish damage for me, and I'm wielding it two-handed. And keep in mind that I barely meet the re strength requirements to wield it, and I think my faith, well, my faith is shown in the beginning of the video. <laughs> I don't have all my stats memorized now. Just my stats of my main characters. And this character, I don't really go much on him except to make videos when I feel the need to. So yeah, Terraria. Some people say that Terraria is like a Minecraft clone. Which is understandable why. I mean, it does take a lot of the same elements and just recreate it in a 2D world. Although, I think there's a lot more creativity and diversity to the game. Yeah, there's like a huge variety of weapons. Like I said, more creativity. It's more of a fantasy theme. Uh, I just, I really enjoy the game. I'll probably be playing it for a while with at least one friend of mine. And like I said, I'll probably eventually do some commentary videos of that. So here I am. I think this is my last player versus environment clip if I remember correctly but perhaps not I'm just taking out these undead people don't remember what they're called I'll just call them undead people the heavy attack right there it's it's pretty useful I mean obviously it's special it's especially unique it's very similar to the wrath of the gods miracles so if you've taken note on which miracles um Leroy Jenkins has been using. Uh, I do match up his miracles to my miracles to make us like similar. Yeah. So I actually invaded this guy before and I took his white phantom on one on one. They backstabbed me and took me out in one hit. And that was their white phantom that you see over there standing right there. I think that person is currently AFK in this match. These people seem to be camping out but they seem to be respectful not to heal and to take me on one on one. But I do invade this guy three times. And like I said, the first time, first, uh, the white phantom just took me out. Now, this is the second time I'm invading this person. And I'm just kind of dancing around with this person. I, I don't know how, but I think that was a lag on my side right there. And I barely do not have enough time to take that out, that person out. I think I also ran out of stamina. That was the biggest problem that I couldn't take out that white phantom. So now this is actually the third time I go to invade this person. And once again, I think they respected me, they respected their invaders. You can tell that they kind of wanted some organized player versus player matches. 
Uh, so yeah, once again, the White Phantom just capping out over there. Allowing me to take on this person one on one. I don't really know why this person is dual wielding. I just run straight through their attack, get a backstab, why not? So quite a few people, they take advantage of this weapon's weakness, which is just slow attacks, and they roll into me, then they eventually get a roll BS on me. Which is a very wise strategy. But I'd say I think I actually won most of my matches on this character using Paladin set. So yeah, I just barely managed to take that person out once again for the second time. So in this next match here, I'm going to be fighting two people. Uh, and by the way, the miracles that I'm using are Wrath of the Gods stacked twice, so I have two of them for six casts and great heal as well as replenish uh, I know replenish I don't think Leroy Jenkins uses replenish but I thought I may as well it's still in that healing miracle category so this guy's flasking away and he just summoned a phantom to double team me and by the way my excuse for uh, using some cheap tactics of Wrath of the Gods is, well, one, you know, it's what Leroy Jenkins uses, and two, I'm just trying to keep that depiction accurate as possible, you know? <laughs> Besides, it's two-on-one. I mean, it's not like it's one-on-one, -on -one and I shouldn't have any problems. It's just I was getting tired of these guys, and I decided I may as well just blow them away, finish that match, and this guy decides to heal, then I finish the match. It's funny to see how many people try to use their flask after I hit them with the Estus. I mean the uh, Lloyd's Talisman. I don't know if people just don't see their own aurora of telling them that they're, they can't use it and they're affected by the Lloyd's Talisman or they just don't know about the Lloyd's Talisman's effects at all. But it makes me wonder sometimes. I, don't, I wouldn't really expect that many new Dark Souls players at this point. I mean, the game has been out for, like, what, at least three months now? Almost four months. Now, this person I'm, uh, I'm invading is wearing the full Havel set. He's using the full Havel set except for the Black Knight Great Axe. It's only a different thing. So, from the looks of it, I'd say... Most people really do not expect to be invaded in the catacombs here. It's either that or else it's just a coincidence that I run into more PvP noobs. But my guess is people just don't seem to be expecting an invader. Besides, there is a way to clear out the catacombs and the pinwheel boss in like 3 minutes from the Firelink Shrine to the pinwheel boss. And once again, it's another person that does not seem to notice that they are affected by the Lloyd's Talisman. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with these people, or what. <laughs> Once again, these people just really make me wonder sometimes. So here I start using the Replenish Miracle. Um, oh yeah, that's that, that was my excuse to use the Replenish Miracle. Is that the Sanctus actually gives you... 2 HP per 2 seconds, which can be reduced to saying like 1 HP per 1 second. But um, yeah, kind of thought, you know, that miracle effect kind of does the same thing. I mean, the effect of the shield kind of does the same thing as the miracle, so why not just use the miracle? So this person, I believe that's the giant's hammer, blacksmithing hammer. What the ep the weapon that that person was using. Uh, yeah, it seemed pretty slow and that seemed to do very little damage. Whereas this person here is just seemingly to me another PvP noob, or maybe it's an unlucky coincidence for them, who knows. Yeah, he was like the easiest target right there, easiest match I had. And now, some of these later matches, I think they're the ones that are a bit better. Actually, this match right here, it was like, 
I don't know, I was just waiting around looking for these guys. I didn't know where they were at. I think I was waiting for almost four minutes. And then finally I realized that they were behind me. I don't know why, I was thinking that they were in front of me, but yeah. So here I am running over to them. And once again, I think it's some more amateur PvPers. Again, easy backstab, just running around them. I don't know why that guy did the heavy attack. Timing was completely off. I should have gotten backstabbed or at least hit right there, but I don't know why I was thinking it was necessary to use the Wrath of the Gods right there, but for whatever reason, I just felt like it. I guess, you know, it's 1v2. That was kind of my excuse to use it. So my next match, actually my next two matches here, I believe there's two more to go. Uh, they're against uh, opponents that are much more respectful, and by that I mean, well, they got more skill. So this person right here, they seem to be dual wielding uh, the Crystallization Cataclyst and the Moonlight Butterfly Spear. So this is actually not the most difficult person that I fought in my time of invading. Although, like I said, it was a worthy opponent. So yeah, she gets a nice roll BS right there. That's kind of what I was talking about earlier. It's this weapon's weakness and it's slow attacks. Somewhat linear attacks. You can just kind of roll into them if you time your rolls correctly. And if you roll in the proper direction, you can get... A uh, roll BS on the person using the large hammer. Well, the grant or any large hammer. So you can tell this person is obviously switching out their gear on the go, which it's a good idea, but you have to be really, really efficient about it when you do do that. Otherwise, you'll you may just get caught off guard by your opponent. So as you can see here, my regeneration and my Sanctus shield, or I mean my replenishment and my Sanctus shield is recovering my HP over time. And I already have like one third of my HP back. And I think my enemy was kind of underestimating me. Once again, they turned their back for a few seconds. I rushed them and I finished her off. So that entire match, I was kind of waiting for an opportunity to rush her because I knew that would be the last thing that she would expect is for someone to be rushing the other person while the person who is rushing has low HP. If that makes any sense. But yeah, my last PvP match here, I actually do go back to fight the same person. And well, I don't think this match is, is as exciting, but you know, she tries. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know why I did the heavy attack. I guess I was kind of defensive move. She rolls right into me, but I run around her and get a BS, finish her off in one backstab. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.